Starlink is the first real manifestation of having global coverage of wireless high-speed internet access. Comparing this to traditional ground-based internet systems, Starlink is the way of the future. As of right now, the technology is still in its infancy, but I can see eventually once they get Starlink version 2 satellites in orbit, even generation 3 satellites, it's going to get to the point where any device can directly connect to Wi-Fi anywhere. Your phone, laptop, you would just have to sign up, purchase a data plan, and that's it. You can connect to the internet anywhere from any device. Unfortunately, today in 2024, even though we have the satellites, we still need a physical piece of hardware to connect to that signal. And up until this point, it consisted of a satellite dish, a stand, very long cable, and a Wi-Fi router. So right now it is kind of a lot and it's expensive, $500. But the idea here long term is that this hardware is going to shrink in size, become more minimal until it's no longer even needed and your devices can directly connect to the satellites. And that's why I got super excited when I saw this news break of an upcoming Starlink Mini. This drastically reduces the, the hardware footprint and brings us one huge step closer to the ultimate goal here. So let's dive right into this new piece of hardware. Uh, first thing that should be mentioned is that this is officially from SpaceX. And we even have tweets from Elon himself talking about this new piece of kit. So by far the biggest difference here with the previous generation is the fact that the Wi-Fi router and the dish, the satellite dish, have now been combined into one device. And just as importantly, this new device is the same rough dimensions as a laptop. So that means you could easily slide this thing into your backpack and take it anywhere. The previous hardware was great in a residential environment, but the moment you wanted to use it in a mobile environment, the setup process was cumbersome. And something a lot of people might overlook is the new power cable. So the charging cable here is a DC power cable. We do have an AC charging brick adapter, same as you might have with a smartphone. But the fact that this thing runs natively off of DC power is huge if you want to run this off of a power bank. The power consumption here is going to be significantly less and more efficient than an equivalent AC powered unit. And they say right here that the power consumption is only going to be 25 watts on average compared to the roughly 75 to 100 watts of the previous version. And that's just a huge difference if you're off grid uh, in an RV and you're running this off of a, a battery power station. At 25 watts, you can leave this thing plugged in essentially all the time. It is four times more efficient than the previous version. My only remaining question was the interface. Ideally, this DC power cable will be a USB type C interface. And apparently the early indications are that that is the case, or at least there is a USB type C adapter for that DC charging cable. And in terms of cost, this will be a more affordable version. So the full size version is $500 right now. And this is estimated to be roughly half that. So. 250-ish retail price. Now you should know that this will have a performance hit compared to the, the full size version, but for most situations, the, the performance here should still be more than enough. Elon tweeted here that the, the speed test is 100 megabits per second. So that might be the maximum speed of this unit. But even so, for most situations, including gaming, 4K video streaming, that should be plenty. But along with the, the price of the hardware, because the speed is limited, it will be interesting to see if the monthly price of the subscription is less with the mini unit. We can see that the current cheapest monthly plan for the, the old hardware is $120 per month. But Elon's official tweet here does say, quote, about half the price of the standard dish to buy and monthly subscription. So that's why, as we mentioned, the price here should be $250 to initially buy, but this would seem to indicate that the monthly subscription is also half, so $60. And if this is true, if Elon Musk is really about to hit the market with a new version of Starlink that's all in one, the size of a laptop can easily be brought anywhere, powered off of a USB type C power bank, costs 60 bucks a month and delivers high speed internet, then this can really be revolutionary. Even if you don't want to use it to replace your main home Wi-Fi, you can just keep this with you at all times when traveling and have convenient high speed internet at an affordable price. Again, the ultimate goal here is to have no hardware and to directly connect all your devices to the satellites. But for now, this is a huge leap in the right direction and I'm super excited for it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.